In this video, I'm gonna tell you why you need fire resistance gear for the next Classic Fresh. Oh Christ, on a bike! Oh no, get fucked! Oh! That's right, baby. We're going where no one's gone in the past. A complete mortal rate of characters that leveled from 1 to 60 with zero deaths. Oh, here comes the pain, bitch! Now hitting level 60 is half the battle, and then comes the gearing, mat farming, and theory crafting to actually pull off a one life Ragnaros kill. How far will you risk it to gear up before Molten Core? Will you step foot into instances like Skolomance and Stratholme, or just choose to gear with open world greens and boss drops from BRD? And then once we get into Molten Core, we're gonna actually need a fire resistance set. I remember before Classic WoW's release, uh, people had fire resistance sets that they planned to have before Molten Core, but in reality, no one really needed it. If you suffered a few deaths on the boss fights, it didn't matter, but this time around, we can't afford any deaths. So I'd like to go over my thoughts of what a reasonably obtainable fire resist set would look like for a bear druid tank, and don't be afraid to share your thoughts on my choices for this gear in the comments below, and please share your own set of gear for mages, hunters, rogues, maybe a warrior tank, a healer FR set. Um, this is quite possibly the hardest thing that a group of players has ever attempted in Classic World of Warcraft and we can use all the help we can get. And also don't forget to hit the like button, it really helps me out a lot. So let's get right into it. In this video we're going to be talking about fire resistance gear specifically for my bear tank. Assuming I'll be an off tank, you know, I'll fill in the tanking role if for some reason our main tank goes down or I'm playing goalie uh, with some of the trash mobs. I'm going to be playing a Feral Druid. So we're going to talk about how resistance works in Classic in the first place. Um, how much FR do I even need for Molten Core? And what am I going to be sacrificing whenever I do pick up some Fire Resist sets? Is it worth it? And how to theorycraft your own set. So I'm going to show you how I geared mine up using ClassicWild.Live. And hopefully you can use the same. So first off, let's look at how it works. Um, the average percentage of damage resisted is the weighted average of resistance percentages for each level of damage resistance. Now, this sheet I found on WoW Wiki is against level 50 mobs. I'd like to see a list against level 63 mobs. I'm not sure who has that data, who can pull it, but this is basically how it works. Um, even if you have full fire resistance gear, there's always a 1% chance that you could take full damage. And so we're trying to look for the threshold of how to take you know absorb 75 or 50 percent damage um, and with this list you can see 250 fr against the level 50 mob would add up to about a 70 percent chance or 85 percent chance to take 50 percent damage or less um, and so this is just a simple breakdown uh, we'll have some big brains come in and theorycraft what we really need uh, but you can use this list to kind of give you an idea of how the fire resistance works so you could take you know, at any point in time, a full fire volley from the mobs after Baron Geddon and just get one shot, even if you have full FR gear on. So, how much fire resistance gear are you going to put on and sacrifice stamina, your survivability, your DPS, you know, whatever role you may be in. And so, the next thing I'd like to look at is our fire resistance cap and how to obtain it. So, the cap is 315. Um, some, the other ways that we can get fire resistance other than gear... All, right, all of it is listed right here, so whether we're going Alliance or Horde, we have Shamans and Paladins giving us 60 FR. Um, Juju Embers give you an additional 15 fire resistance. You can stack that with nearly all the buffs. It might override some other Juju, but uh, if you're stacking for fire resistance, you can count on this one for 15. There's a Cloak Enchant that's available. Uh, you just got to go to Ultimate and get that. We'll have somebody in-house, you know, like a Guild Enchanter. Hopefully he doesn't die off and enchant everybody's gear with 7 FR. We've got the Shoulder Enchant for 5 FR. I'm pretty sure that's Argent Dawn Reputation. Um, and then the Head and Leg Librums give you 20 fire resistance each. And so in a hardcore world environment, one life environment, these Librums, I think they drop out of Blackrock Depths. And so we're going to need to farm BRD as a guild, you know, five-man groups. Maybe we could have like some mages AoE farming in BRD, uh, just trash pulls. You never know, but we're going to need Head and Leg Librums for 20 FR. And then we can get the one-hour... Upper Blackrock Spire buff, where you mind control one of the spellcasters and they buff you with 81 or 83 fire resistance. So I think once you add all this up, it's roughly 12, 52, it's over 200 fire resistance. So the 315 fire resist cap, you're only going to need 
uh, maybe 150, 160 FR on your gear. And if you were to have all of these things, you could be FR capped, which is nice because you don't have to sacrifice your stamina pool. You know, you don't have to sacrifice a lot of DPS. Um, and so whenever I'm looking at this list, I want to go over how I pick this up. So I'm using a tool, ClassicWild.Live. Their gear planner is really nice um, for things like this. Real quickly, I can just, um, assuming we're going to go Alliance, I'm going to go Night Elf, Druid, Bear, level 60, in phase 1. Um, and whenever I'm looking at headpiece options, I like coming over here on resistances, sorting my sats to fire res, um, and then as a tank, prioritizing. Um, I'm not sure how the weights work exactly, but I'm just going to come over to resist, fire resist, we're going to weight it on to 10. Let's calculate that, you know, any big brains in here. Now whenever I, I'm looking for the best tank with fire resistance in mind, um, I have this entire list here. So as you can see, we have a Molten Helm, you know, maybe your main bear tank is going to have this you farm mats and molten core for a little while uh 29 fr resist as you can see these are all world drops uh like i said we could get we we could have some real heroes as mages aoe farming brd or other content where you could find drops like this the next best thing is going to be the headpiece that drops an upper black rock spire you have a one in four chance um i think that the percentage is a little bit better on fire and nature is what i was told um, to drop but yeah you could get 15 fire resistance here i love the stamina on this uh the increased stamina we get as a bear it's really nice to have fr and stamina on um this is probably my next best can we go in a in a hardcore group you know maybe you have the a team go and clear upper black rock spire for the flask of the titans um and then a lot of key pieces maybe we could expect this um i'm looking at other pieces there's really not a ton of options um we can say tribal war feathers so this is how you can go through the list uh, you can do this with each item I'd like to show you a list that I have already uh, this went ahead and got me 169 fire resist I was feeling pretty good about this Drake fire amulet we could do the Oni attunement as a guild you know a hardcore guild one life uh, I think we could pull this off with zero deaths um, I think that it just requires a few upper black rock spire clears uh, nothing too crazy, but that's 10 FR right there, or 10 stamina, 15 FR. I love that. The volcanic set. This is really nice. Check this out. If I show you the volcanic shoulders um, and the options, yeah, we're looking for fire resistance. Tanky. How much fire resist gear can we get? Let me make sure that the fire resist is weighted better on this one. So look at what we've got. You, it shows you the. We're not going to get Temple of Atalakar. These are random rolls. Look at how many rolls you can get here. And I swear the resistance is they never roll. Um, these aren't... Can't really expect this to come. Look at all these world drops but then Volcanic Shoulders. They're crafted. Uh, they're pretty easy to pick up. 18 fire resist, 167 armor. Now look at like Wormtongue Spalders. These are really nice. 23 edgy, 10 stam. Um, what's high stamina? Yeah, I mean something... An item that comes out of Stratholm has 132 armor, 10 stamina. But Volcanic Shoulders, where were they? Crafted. They have 167 armor. So in bear form, you know, you're getting that 360 armor per contribution. Um, even though there's no stamina on this, I really like these pieces because of the high armor. And so if you look at the comparison with the chest piece, it's got 268 armor, 204 armor. Um, the dungeon drops with just stamina, they have significantly less armor than these pieces. So I'd like to pick these volcanic pieces up. Um, the wildfire cape drops off of the first boss in Upper Black Rock Spire. I think we could get that. This Hurley's tankered my main hand and offhand. I've got Magma Stone. Uh, we could get this off the boss in Black Rock Depths pretty easily, I think. You know, just to the left, 15 fire resistance. I like the 12 stamina here. There's some other options. We could get like an Ardent Custodian. Um, I'd probably wear a Warden Staff if I picked it up, but I think an Ardent Custodian or this Rubidium Hammer it's uh it's a really low drop off of the second to last boss in brd the 120 armor i'd probably prefer that but i'm probably not going to get it an ardent custodian you know if we have hundreds thousands of players in this war effort maybe we get an one or two of these drops in the open world um but realistically probably going to pick up rubidium hammer the coal miner boots this is from brd as well the seal of ascension our upper black rock spire it's nice to do 10 man clears of lower black rock spire that feels pretty safe and hardcore i think we can pick that up um, the Flame Reflector, I really like this item, you gotta be an engineer to pick it up, so the Fire Volleys on the Trash After Baron Geddon, this could be extremely useful. And then Ward of the Elements, I think I'd track this down, this looked like a quest that would be possible in a hardcore environment. But this got me to 169 Fire Resist, and if you add up everything on our PowerPoint a second ago, 
169 plus, I think this is over 200, yeah, 315 is our cap. If we were to stack all of these, um, it only takes, you know, those amount of fire resistance pieces. And it might be more optimal to fill in the hands, the waist, uh, with other pieces, but um, this is what I came up with. Uh, I think that it's fairly obtainable. Maybe you can put together a list, tell me your thoughts. Uh, you know, maybe you're playing a mage, a hunter, a rogue, a healer. Uh, maybe you're a warrior tank. Why well, put together your own fire resist set? Share it with us down below, and hopefully, as a community, we can take down Ragnaros with one life. Um, it's gonna take a lot of big brains, man. It's gonna take absolutely everyone to pull this off. But you can do this. Um, check out ClassicWild.live. Uh, the last slide I just want to mention: these are big drops, and so we're looking for that Librum of Resilience. We're looking for leather workers and gatherers in our guild. You know, as a hardcore community, you can only trade in-house once you hit level 60 you can only use your other hardcore level 60 players who only have one life so i mean it's here today gone tomorrow we're gonna need leather workers and then <laughs> our main leather worker he's gonna die and we're gonna need the other recipes for the other volcanic uh breastplate pieces but the the librum of resilience it only drops in black rock depths and i really like the idea of having like a three-man mage squad and maybe a healer just clearing trash all day every day uh, before, you know, weeks before we attempt this one life Ragnaros. Maybe 8 to 12 weeks is whenever we could expect to take down Rag. And so the f first couple weeks we could have this new mage AoE farm meta with one life on the line. And these Librams of Resilience would be massive drops. So that's my thoughts. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you found this information interesting. And maybe you'll join us in the race to Ragnaros. The, the road to Ragnaros, rather. One life. We'll see you guys in the next one.